out of bed <sighs> with nothing better to do she's got nothing better to do parsley leaking <laughs> while she drip dries over Bye. you she makes a mess mm. orders uber eats mm. when her tinder date is through oh, 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 and if you stand too close to her, what? you'll get the C. diff too. <gasps> Chantel, Chantel, she carries the weight, weight of the, the world, world on her, her shoulders. shoulders. Chantel, Chantel, she carries the weight. She carries the weight. Chantel, hello, Chantel. She How's Kenneth our girl? The weight of the world. Pizza and poutine. See you soon, life girl. Thank you so much for coming, Matt. Fuck off already, Jesus. I thought when I turned it off, it was off. We're off to a great start. Thank you very much for coming by. It is 12.49 a.m. September 11th, 2022, of course, after noting the date. We all have a thought for the tragedy on that day. And, well, you don't have to look at me. How about just a minute of silence? We're into 12.49 a.m. And I'll just uh, pull the camera down for one minute. We have a moment of silence. That was one minute of silence, remembrance of September 11th. And uh, so aside from that, I didn't have any, you know, video planned or anything like that. It just decent people have to note it. And that's what we've done. So uh, now let's get back to the normal silliness around here. Get the bubbly going. I'm back to the cherry bubbly. And I was promising everybody I 
a live way and, and we're, I'm going to do it. It's just that, um, you know, I started so late that I couldn't, I couldn't stand being without my dinner. So I ate everything first off camera and, uh, including two cups of the, the California mixed vegetables and all the rest. So, I, I'm st I've still lost weight from last week. He just said, I just did the totally wrong thing. I just ate, ate my whole meat, one meal a day, like about 15 minutes before starting up. I started eating about a half an hour ago. I couldn't just take it anymore. And uh, so I'm, I'm still going to do the weigh-in. I'm just going to do it after the Chantel stuff, right? Because uh, yesterday, I, I just want to make contact with everybody. And so I went down... And uh, I was trying to find, I had like two different types of peanuts, shelled and unshelled, looking for squirrels. Oh, we got to say hi to everybody. Sunshine Country Chickens, who was saying hi to me uh, yesterday. Thanks for coming by, Sunshine Country Chickens. You got another cute avatar there. Look out for Sunshine Country Chickens. And there's a cute chicken emoji in the title too. Oh, sorry, that's what you just typed in here. <laughs> like, looks like I just jumped out of your avatar. My other car, always a lot of fun. Thanks for coming by. And Chrissy Louise. Hello, everyone, and you too, Chrissy Louise. So I'll do the the, the way in. It's just, I think, uh, you know, the big one would be on Wednesday. I, I keep trying to get things straightened out around here. And uh, Cece, our newest channel member, with a drawing from when she was a kid. Thanks for coming by. Laura Jenkins, hello all. And yesterday, Chantel did a stream entitled, Yes, I Still Love Him. It was three hours and 21 minutes long. No way. I can't do it. None of us can do it. Not me, not you guys. We can't do it. We're not doing it. So what I did was I grabbed the first 10 minutes, the middle 10 minutes, and the last 10 minutes. So we got 30 minutes of Chantel from yesterday saying, Yes, I Still Love Him, talking about Nader Elshami. I mean, her channel is so done. If you got any intelligence at all, her channel is so done. It's so done. We can only feel pity for the people that, that still believe it's real. And I love it, you guys. Hello, Chevalita. Hello, FBRCN chat. And if you're here and you're typing, well, all we want is continued improvement from Chevalita. Continued improvement. And I say that. You know, in a friendly way, not, not like it's an order. We we just want continued improvement. And we hope you continue to feel better. Type it away and studying. That's right. We don't forget you're studying too. And you missed my short uh, live and I got your message. And thanks for, for providing a comment. And uh, I just want to make contact with everybody. I was looking for squirrels. I had two different types of peanuts, shelled and unshelled, looking for squirrels. And where I wanted to be, which is someplace different from where I was before, I thought it was quieter, more squirrels, less birds. People were taking pictures. I couldn't go. So I just sat there with the Timbits, which were meant for the seagulls at the end. And I did those for the seagulls. And, you know, Chavalita is having steady improvement. Yes, thank you. And thank you for telling us. And thanks for coming by. And I'm going to do the weigh-in. And... Uh, I feed the red squirrels. Oh, the red squirrels. Yeah, the red squirrels are super fast. You know, I often wonder, it's like, who's faster, a red squirrel or a chipmunk? <laughs> and, so it, it, and that's amazing you feed the red squirrels because they're a little bit more difficult to make friends with. Yet they're still squirrels and they're still cute and fun. And I'm glad that you feed them too. And so... Um, yeah, so I, I had, you know, in the United States, they're called donut holes. And here we call them timbits, which is just, you know, the round little bits of dough. So I gave that to the squirrels. And I warned everybody that my camera is going to give out, the battery is going to give out, and it did. So when it did finally give out, I wasn't being rude to anybody. And so I, all I had was seagulls, and I had timbits. And anyway, it was still a bit of fun. And I'm glad you just came by and checked it out or checked it out a little bit later. So I'm still going to do the weigh-in. I'll do it after we do the Chantel footage. So uh, we got the from, again, this is from Chantel's Yes, I Still Love Him 
streamed six hours ago, three hours, 21 minutes. She still loves that or else she me. I just, so we got the first 10 minutes, the middle 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes. And apparently she was cleaning up. And if you look at my thumbnail, she was bent over at such a weird angle. She just looked, looked just like that emoji of a pile of poop. So I, I, the thumbnail I made, I hope you check out the thumbnail. It just says pile and there's two pope, not pope, poop. Emoji, emojis, emojis. That's good. Emojis. So, I've got it busted up into parts one, two, and three. First ten minutes, middle ten minutes, last ten minutes. I haven't even watched it. I don't even know what's going on. So let's just let's just put it up there and see what happens. <laughs> I look like a fucking penguin. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Don't you love it when somebody's high so often you can't tell if they're laughing or crying? Look at my house. Okay, so... Hi, everybody. Hope you got Mila, Lisa, Rats, Tweety, Keely, Missy Moo. Hey, Missy Moo. Stephanie, Chip Skip. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hey, Liliana. Quinoa Trauma. I think I have alopecia. Look at my head. You think I have alopecia? Hello, Jordan. Thanks for coming by. Uh, largest hairless beezer. Hey, Dusty Headboard. I heard you're getting a fainting. Well, would you? I, I couldn't hear it if she said piglet. Did she say piglet? I can put it back if everybody wants me to. Did, does anybody hear if she said piglet or not? Wait, Vic, me look at this blaze. Fucking hell. Karen Green, no. I'm, I don't I'm, know. But I gotta move, so we gotta pack and shit. Well, apparently she's saying they're moving again. Anyway, Chevalita, um, I got this fan going on me at all times. So, even though it doesn't seem to ruin my voice on this uh, microphone, Sunshine Country Chickens is showing some love. So, even though it doesn't interfere with me talking to the microphone, it still messes up what I hear in these headphones. Thanks for showing some love there, Sunshine Country Chickens. Hello, Trixie, Karen Green, Amanda Brooke. Biden is communist. Chaperone Sherry. Jamie Carpenter. Hormonal hair loss. Is that alopecia? No. This shirt. Which cat shirt? This one screams Gatno. I'm not planning on moving to Gatno. I'm looking patchy. Yeah. Do you have to shave your fishy sham clam if you have alopecia? <laughs> Let's listen to the comments that come from her from her audience. And she's so vile. She just revels in them. And I revel in cool people. Like not another sock puppet, which is already a very cool name. And then he's got a very cool avatar of a Muppet. Oscar. Oh, I love trash. I love it because it's trash. Poetry. Why do you love trash? Because it's trash. That used to be a little animation on the Apple Macintoshes that you put on there. And it was dangerous because people, uh, you know, if they had their kids around, they'd be throwing all the files away into the trash just to have Oscar come up and sing that. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah. The curtains don't match the drapes. Oh, oh Chantel, you and your beezes and your handful of little dirty jokes. Oh, no, you don't have that because if you did... You're going places, Chantel. The world wants you. Did you would lose hair everywhere else, including downstairs. No, basic, basic, I'm not. Hi, Mila. Liliana. If you're just showing up, not under the sock puppet, this is from a three-hour and 21-minute live stream from Chantel entitled, Yes, I Still Love Him. She's talking about Natter. It's beyond ridiculous. None of us can take three hours and 21 minutes. I just grabbed the first 10, the middle 10, and the, and the last 10. You just got evicted from your bedroom from your cats. Hi, Tiff. Oh, the bedazzled one from yesterday. It's cute. Some people are just bald as fuck. 
McDonald's bees for you, Andre. Oh, hey, welcome back, Andre Cooks. Oh, by the way, I ordered lunch. I'm going to have oh, I just to noticed right your now. your emojis, the cigarette and the camel. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I didn't because here in StreamYard, the volume and the play button are over top of that part. So sometimes I I, I got to read it off to the side. Can you guess what cool. it is? I'll explain. Okay, let me go get. Yeah, this is my cleaning outfit because. Should I put a bra on at least? Yeah, I think you should put a bra on. <laughs> She's like she's a a, a sixty five year old grandmother who's been abusing her her body her whole life, and she's only thirty eight. Should I put a bra? Yeah, you should. You should. Oh. Please put put some clothes on. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, aren't stoners fun? Aren't stoners entertaining? Aren't they a barrel of laughs? Uh, I'm on the wrong internet connection, okay? So things are going to get interrupted for about five seconds. I'm going to put us on the better internet connection. Well, that was a little bit more than five seconds. Anyway, as I was saying, aren't stoners a barrel of monkeys, aren't they? Aren't stoners just great? There she is laughing at nothing again. And uncontrollable laughter at, at nothing, too. Ah, stoners are so funny. They're the most boring people in the world. <laughs> I'm pathetic. That's why I wrote the song. Look at me. <laughs> okay, why can't I hear anything? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Everyone has nicer boobs than me. Okay, let me jump back for They're a second. Bad. This is her? Yeah. Her okay, where's my friggin' audio? Would you evict me? Look at this place. I switched to a better internet connection. Fucking I can't hear hell. anything. Karen. Okay, I think we're back. I just got to put the video back up again. I'll explain. Okay, let me go get... Yeah, this is my cleaning outfit because... Should I put a bra on at least? That's where we were. Yeah, okay, we're right back. Oh, <laughs> Just to reiterate, I got nothing against people that like to have a little bit of herb now and then, okay? You know, people are so quickly to get, are too quick to get offended by things that are not offensive. Which I got nothing against people who have a little bit of grass. Chantel is like day in, day out stoner. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm pathetic. That's why I wrote the song. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, she's high. Uh, the self-deprecating uh, humor, 
for her saying that she's pathetic doesn't impress me one bit. You know, I can poke fun at myself too, and I often do. And uh, Super Chat Cat will, will make fun of me as well. He just said, you know, you want to really do some self-deprecating humor, uh, Chantel? Just, just, just look at the camera and tell people that you're a fucking liar. You know, how about that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Everyone has nicer boobs than me. So They're not I. bad if I'm laying down. See how funny I am? Here, say that again, Chantel. Say it again. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Everyone has nicer boobs than me. Yeah, me too. Now, that's good self-deprecating humor. Of course, I'm doing something about it. I'm actually losing weight. They're not bad if I'm laying down. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Hang on. Ugh. Uh. Everyone has nicer boobs than me. They're not bad if I'm laying down. She's so masculine. Ugh. She's like an aggressive big guy that doesn't bathe. One more. Everyone has nicer boobs than me. Ugh. They're not bad if I'm laying down. I'll be right back, okay? No. Oh. No, just keep walking. Oh. Walk into the sunset. Did Leave. you hear her angry cry of desperation? Oh, ugh. Oh, no. It is wearing shark. Oh, no. Ugh. ugh. They're going to need a, a, an exorcist if she ever does leave that place. Yes, exactly. Excellent emoji work. Chavalit is improving. She's typing. She's studying. Her emoji skills are getting stronger. Doing better. Doing better. Chantel, where have you gone? Wildebeest, wildebeest. Chantel, where have you gone? Disgusting wildebeest. Have you fallen down the stairs? Have you gone right through the wall? Why don't you go away for good and never bother us all? Hang on, that's... I give myself a passing grade on that. 20 people here, thanks for coming by. Please hit the thumbs up. She can't even maneuver in that pig pen. Remember, girls, she can take your man. Chantel is more beautiful than 90% of all the other women on the internet. Look out. Chantel. She's never looked worse. Look at that. Chantel does that to her audience. Just leaves the camera on, walks out of the shot. And over here, we're having fun making fun of that. And here I am with the bubbly, making myself heavier before I do the weigh-in. I want to get everything back the way it was, was before, before the channel got hit. I want to get back into this. You know? So now we can do the reactions again. Now it's more significant for me to do the weight loss uh, journey. Because you know, I could say, "Hey, Chantel, how's your weight loss journey going?" That's why I don't let my I don't let my partner watch her. I'm worried he would want her. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Bear says, "Fast forward." Okay, I'm gonna push it. Whoa, Carrie Bear was right. I'm pushing it. There's no fast forward here. I'm just grabbing it and I'm pushing it. I'm making a jump. Whoa, okay. Thank you, Carrie Bear. That was a good suggestion. I was babbling too much. See around here. With our community, folks say, What are you doing? Fix that. And we fix it. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Mother, so bad. Uh, 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 uh. 
gasping for breath, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just reading your comment, trying to recover from breathing. I need to put a bra on because my boobs. Mickey. I know. Okay, so that was the first 10 minutes. This is how I had to do it. It was three hours and 21 minutes long. We can't take that. None of us can take that. So that's the first 10 minutes. And now we're going to get the middle 10 minutes, right in the middle. You're at a crossroads right now. You can choose to move somewhere new and build and change yourself. I haven't watched this before. So somebody apparently just told Chantel, you're at a crossroads. Go and change yourself. Uh, Judge Judy comes to mind. You are fully cooked. Of course, that means there are no more changes coming. You're fully cooked. That This is this is what you are. There's no changes coming. Why will it be bad? I don't understand. I want to get like a nice poshy condo for myself like i want to be alone <laughs> i want my own place isn't it disgusting that she has enjoyed her income just by getting high and uh being vile on camera for so long that she can rely on around 10 to twelve thousand dollars every month and she can sit there and say i want a posh condo for me i think i'd really like that and she doesn't have to worry about, well, the company I'm working for, will they get that next contract? Will I get to hold on to my job? Will I get to hold on to that raise? Will am I, I still get enough hours? She doesn't have to worry about any of that. I, I think a posh condo. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. That would be really nice. It doesn't have to worry about work. Isn't it sad? And... He's doing the truck pull. Oh my God. Okay, your son, we are going to wish it that he wins at the fair, the tractor pull, the truck pull. <sighs> because he is there. She's just the, the copycat liar. You know, not that you couldn't have boys that acted that way in school, too, right? Boys that would do that, too. It's just. You know, boys tend to be more into like you know fist fights in the play yard. You know, for sh it's it's more so girls. Um, the Chantel is just a copycat lying girl from school that never grew up and never will. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, homeless veterans on the street, guys who have trouble adjusting to normal life afterwards. And they don't get the help that they need fast enough. They don't get enough help. They fall through the cracks. And they're on the street. And Chantel could just sit here and go, a posh condo. I think that's... I really like that. And there's, there's no worry about work. You know, if, if, if normal people want to buy a house, it's like, well, can I juggle the mortgage payments? Do I have a steady job? And, like, her numbers are going down. Yet they haven't, like, gone down drastically, which is disappointing. Yet she's, she's not the thing that she was, you know, a year and a half ago even, right? Beats gives you your bath. I don't even know who that is. Ch uh, rats. 
Ew, this stinks. 13 soap unlucky. Moving can be a growing experience. It could be good for you. Life is for living, and you're stronger now having gone through what you have. <laughs> oh, the wisdom of Beezers. And who do they give it to? This pile of crap, Chantel. Oh, that, that's priceless. Yes, Jack. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom from the Beezers. You deserve better, Chantel. <laughs> He won? Ben! Good luck, Ben! I know you want to help Pete's, but does it ever stress you out having to be responsible for him, too? Well, yeah. I mean, being... You know. But I I want us both to do, like, you know, good and on our own. And we told you Nader was a piece of shit and you didn't believe us. Now you're telling that being so close to him is a bad idea and you won't believe us again. She's laughing right now. You know, people are, are, are typing our messages. We told you not it was a piece of shit. Now you said you loved him again. She's thinking to herself, yeah, just keep making those comments. Keep watching. Keep watching, suckers. Keep watching. Money in the bank. Why don't they say, this is all bullshit. I'm never watching you again, you stupid, lying piece of garbage. Your ex came today and picked up all the stuff I had of, of hers. It was reminiscent of the CPAP rescue. Oh, no. Well, it wasn't too bad of an experience for you, Amber, because CPAP rescue was, certainly was. I was so fucking mad. Alimony. Well, I'm hoping that the ultimate outcome of... Repsy and taking an interest in Chantel might be that either Chantel or Natter loses a channel. As they say, all publicity is good publicity. And as I always argue, if you go over to Chantel's channel and type messages into her community tab saying, oh, you're so full of crap, and all you do is make her channel hot. She does stupid things in her community tab. She insults people. She baits them. They take the bait. And it keeps your channel hot. Like over here, I try to do something silly and funny in my community tab or, or something serious, you know, to get a bit of attention. She's always trolling. She's always trolling. Just ignore it. What would be going forward? Moving to a boring ass other place with Pete's again and the same thing in a different place? I'm thinking I can get my own condo in Montreal. I can date different men and have all the privacy in the world. I can go out and do all kinds of things. A new location to film videos. Like, I'll just have, like, I just know that I will just feel more optimistic, you know? How exciting. Chantel in Montreal. It's expensive there, dear. Don't ever let anyone make you feel guilty that GoNuts has a YouTube page. You helped him because you loved him at the time. I um, hate people. Exactly. I loved him at the time. Can I afford two apartments in Montreal? If they're affordable ones, <laughs> there is reason to move to Montreal. My family would be closer. It's the next biggest city. I've explained it a thousand times. You guys, but all you guys hear is Natter, 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 Natter. Natter is living with Dee Dee. So what makes you think that he keep talking about Natter every time you go on camera? It's Natter and Dee Dee every time you're on camera. We're even ever gonna. She he claimed her. They're together. So exactly, she's got no ambition, no real goals. I mean, she's sitting there saying, "Oh, if I go to Montreal, then I could be seeing all these guys, and I'll just be optimistic, and it's uh, closer to family." So what? So you can sit there and do drugs there? Yeah, she's got no goals. It's like that scene from Rocky I always talk about. The bartender says, says, says to Rocky, hey, I don't have got to take no shot. You ain't happy with your life, don't bring it to me. She, she had, There's no ambition, no goals. Right. Why do you say that we would even be together? It's not going to happen, ever. There you go. How's the weight loss journey going, Chantel? Full sugar Coke. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't. No, I didn't see Natter. Honestly, Montreal is a lot cheaper to live in too, guys, than than Ottawa. What are you talking about? Like, I'm in Canada. Oh, honestly, Montreal is a lot cheaper than Ottawa. They're both expensive. And the other nearest big city, Toronto, get out of here. They're all expensive. Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec. They're all expensive. What the fuck is she talking about? Honestly, it's a lot. Get the fuck out of here. Honestly, it's a lot cheaper. Oh, I hate it when people, stupid people use the words honestly, literally. You know, like Amber. Honestly, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. I know, but if I wanted, listen, it doesn't matter if I'm in Montreal, if I wanted to really see him, you guys know I would drive, right? So. What she should be saying is, I will never see that thing again, and I will not speak his name. I've added the, 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 the word natter into my blacklist of terms in the chat. No, she talks about him all the time. I don't know what to do. How I know. How about you do drugs? You could do that. I think you need to move to a place in Montreal by yourself and have you. Yeah, well, I'm going to help. I, he, if he doesn't want to move to Montreal, like let's say he said I want to live in Cornwall. He, I would help him find a place in Cornwall then. He wants to be near me. Montreal for Natter, you're doing it because you know that when Natter and Didi finish, he will come to you. Don't do it, please. No, I don't want to be with. I don't want to be with Natter. That's not why I move. Honestly, Jay, I know what you mean. Oh, Chantel, you're playing with my head so much. Uh, you don't want to be with Natter. Yeah, you keep telling us you love him. Yeah, you say you don't want anything to do with him. Yet you keep talking about him all the time. I'm so confused. I'm a beezer. All I know what to do is to just keep watching you, keep making you money. Duh. Fuck off, Chantel. Fuck off, you gaslighting piece of shit. That's not why I'm doing it. Anyways, ready, set, repeat. <laughs> I know you guys are worried that I'm going to like move and... There you go. She will be with him longer than I was. So this is her thing now. Why am I even part of this anymore? There you go. He's on Tinder still. <laughs> because it's Natter. Like, I don't know if she thinks that. That's nice. Go after your nose and wipe it all over your arm. You're such a lady, Chantel. Oh, and when and when I go to Montreal, I can do all this more dating. Get the fuck out of here. J take a look at, at my thumbnail. She looks like a pile of melted shit. It's going to be any different, but... Jay of Cornwall has no idea what they're talking about. Montreal is a big city. There's other reasons to go. Exactly. I understand. Exactly. And, you know, Montreal, they better look out. Here comes Chantel. She's got a lot to offer. She sits around the house all day doing drugs. And telling dirty stories. Look out, Montreal. You got something special coming. Their concern about him being there. And I know you guys know me. And you know how I feel. And you know I'm no desert highway. I'm not going to block you ever. I need to help him too with Trixie. Like, I need to help him be his friend. And But yes. I just want him to be happy too. I'm not helping Pete's. I'm hurt. Yeah. He's going to help me clean today, but I want to help him figure out what he wants. Like, where do you want to live? What do you want to do? I love it. They're on like this endless quest of uh, what do you want? What does he want? What does he want? What does, what do you want? What does he want? What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? You know, years sitting around doing this. Like, what is, what does Pete's want? What does Chantel want? Like, I want to move to Montreal, but this is my dream. This is not his dream, you know? 
You don't have any dreams, Chantel. It will be the same shit show in another location. Correct. This, this here, this freeze frame right here is what no goals in life looks like. Dang right. Dang right. This is what no goals in life looks like. And when your only companion is marijuana, day in and day out, and junk food, and lying to people, saying you're going to do a weight loss journey, you never do it. And over here, hey, oh, center stage, center stage, center stage. There we go. Super Chat Cat takes more of the frame. Get up there. Look at that. Chavalita is still recovering, and you still got something, Super Chat Cat. You bet. Wish her some more good luck. Oh, focus. <laughs> Super Chat Kate. Hey, Super Chat Kate. Hey, thanks for blessing us, Chavalita. We hope to bless you. Hey, Super Chat Kate. Hey, Super Chat Kate. Hey, Super Chat Kate. Thanks a lot, Chavalita. You know, uh, yeah, you got that cute little uh, uh, flower in the books in your emoji, and you're right back to the books. We're glad. We're glad. We're glad you still have time for us because now you're back to studying again. Good for you. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. And keep improving too. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Super Chat Cat, and thank you, Chevalier. We're going to leave that up there for a while as we get back to the silly footage of the Wildebeest. Montreal Arc will bring in some new drama. <laughs> Somebody actually types in, oh, Montreal bees, Montreal arc. What arc? There's no story going on here. It's just a turd on drugs doing nothing and sitting there in its underwear. And like, oops, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh, uh, should I put on some clothes? That's all she's got. If, if she, like, go do that on OnlyFans. You got people paying for that stuff. <laughs> You know, it would be new drama every week, every day. Chavalita says much better, lol. Chavalita's got the cat and the dancing girls up there. I'm going to put them both up. Boop, 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 boop. And then back to this. For daily orange julep, Amanda's got it. You got it. Golden girl. Natter is not a one-woman man but he told me he was. Wow, she's still playing. Oh, act away. Act away. Somebody says, Natter's not a one-woman one, not a one woman man. And Chantel puts on the acting cap and says, and he told me that he was. He told me that he was. Didn't that guy rape you or something? He told me he was. A one-woman man. You know, well, didn't, didn't you say he raped you and you know beat you up? And he says he's a one-woman man. Okay, Chantel. No, he'll say, he he'll say I am until I find something better. Then move on. That's like like pretty much what he said. Oh, that natter. Oh, we're gonna all get together in your little group and just hate on him. In other words, and I was like, uh. Just change your name of your channel to let's sit around and talk about Natter channel and then say you're never going to talk about him every day. Every day. That's it. I'm done. I'm never talking. about. And then you talk about him every day. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bump into FFG. These are to be fair. You texted him less than a week ago. I know. Of course, I understand people's skepticisms. All those people, they just have skepticisms. They're rather skeptical. They're questioning. They're just pests with their little skeptics and their questions and their doubting of what Chantel... Um, 
didn't you say you were on a weight loss journey and you gave up on it? And why was the weight loss journey? Because you wanted to lose weight before you went to where? Turkey. You were supposed to be in Turkey by now. You're supposed to be in Tur Turkey right now. And you're just sitting there talking about bullshit while you're high. Oh, there are the skeptics. Those skeptics and their little opinions. But I still want to move to because, Like I said, there's also a lot of other dudes that I talk to from there. Oh, yeah. Everybody check out my thumbnail after this is over. She looks like a pile of melted shit. Oh, there's all these dudes I'm going to check out. Sure, sure, Chantel. You bet. You know, and I'm dating right now. I'm single. Oh, absolutely. You're dating right now. You're, you got a very wild life. Single. I want an exciting cosmopolitan life. Did everybody hear that? She wants an exciting cosmopolitan life. Jet sending around the world, seeing all these fancy types of people and men all over the place when it's really just a tub of shit smoking dope and eating crap. You know? Plus, my favorite clothing store is there. Well, you, you talk like a 12 year old. So, why are you going to Montreal, Quebec? My favorite clothing store is there. So I can sit here and, 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 and be an idiot and then, you know, get $12,000 a month and I can buy clothes. And yeah. Full sugar Coke. Full sugar Coke. How's that uh, weight loss journey going, Chantel? Going good? Cindy J says there's nothing cosmopolitan <laughs> about this woman. Me meaning I know Chantel. Applebee's. Holy fuck, Chantel. This is three hours and 21 minutes. I took the first 10, the middle 10. Give me something to work with, Chantel. I mean, it's nice. You know, just having her sit there stoned and drooling in front of a camera and Chavalita's wonderful comment. This is what no goals in life looks like. That's what it looks like. Chantel, could, could, I don't know. Could you pick at your face? Give me something to work with. It's the Applebee's I'm telling you. I know. You know you're going for him, but I'm like being jealous. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to vlog a lot, Jack, when I get there. I want sex in the... Wow. Uh, she's going to vlog a lot when she gets there. Okay. She's already... I don't like to say where she is. Well, without saying, it's a suburb, a very close suburb of Ottawa, right? So you're already in a city that has a lot to offer, and you don't share anything. And now you say when you're going to go to Montreal, you're going to be vlogging all the time? My ass, you will not. The city, but without the walking... Let's get a scooter and scoot down Mount Royal. Come on, it's going to be a new change. Pete wants to live with me. He's happy with the way things are. I know, Rhonda, but like I'm I'm not really <laughs> So like like hasn't she done this like 3 times before? They're going to move and she's breaking up the act. Pete's has to go someplace else, and everybody gets all concerned, and then they just stay where they are. He leaves a trail of destruction wherever he goes. That's not a good thing. What are you doing? Yeah, you squawk at the cats because it makes you feel superior because you have someone to squawk at. You know, I just wish the cats could speak English and, and, and you know, look at her and go, like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Get off the camera. Throw yourself into a volcano. Do us all a favor. No. No, no. Chavalita, I couldn't agree more. Not having goals is not good for the human soul. We need to work towards something to have a reason to keep going. And CCP says even her chat can't support her. Do you guys want to do karaoke tonight? Wow, so you could go over to Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and you could sit there high and go, you guys want to do karaoke? Sam, stop what you're doing. Can someone message Didi and ask why Natter's on Tinder? Is he on Tinder? No, he's not. I haven't seen him. 
Pete would live with a Trump supporter if it meant he could be a lazy ghoul and not work. <laughs> Don't hate on Pete. Pete, that's not true. He told last night he came down and said how he was felt bad that he hasn't been helping anymore. And I said that's fine. That we're both in a. Uh, she is threatening threatening to move to Montreal, Quebec. Right, we're both similar. Or you can say it. Montreal, Quebec. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the first that's the the first ten minutes, the middle ten minutes, and now we're getting to part three, which is the last ten minutes of a three hour and twenty one minute long live stream entitled "Yes, I Still Love Him." Here comes the last ten minutes. Can you imagine all the people that hung around for the first three hours and 10 minutes? And here's the last 10 minutes of that three hour and 21 minute stream. <laughs> Coffee first. No, it's not. I know. And I don't miss any of the, the bad stuff either. Holy fuck. She's still talking about Natter. It's three hours and 10 minutes later. She's still talking about Natter. I don't miss the lying and the cheating and everything. You see how it's an industry for her? You know, go on camera, talk about Natter. And then Natter's on the other channel talking about her. It's all fake. It's all live action role playing. Fake, 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 fake. It's gone on way too long to be anything else except for fake. You don't miss that he won't even acknowledge the fact that he fucking completely lied to me. Wow, I just just can't believe it's so sad. There are people that are so stupid who continue to believe that this is real. Oh, I just hate it after all this time. He won't admit he lied to me. Fuck, Chantel, go peel a banana, juggle. You know, you know, get you know, like the get some some rubber balls and, and juggle. Anything, anything. Just sit around and talk about Natter. Someone better who actually loves you is waiting for you. <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to say that. Because the one that I use, right, is Chantel. Oh, Chantel. Oh, Chantel, you deserve better. Someone just typed a message to her saying, Oh, Chantel. You deserve someone better. It's just out there waiting for you. Get the fuck out of here. Let me run that again. Let me run that again. The, the bad stuff either. I don't miss... Oh, before I get to that, Cindy J, thank you, FBIC, for saving us the pain of watching your trash stream and putting out the mildly inter interesting parts for us. It's a service I, I enjoy providing because I enjoy fighting things that are evil. So let's, get, let's, let's have the Beezer... Tell her, there's someone wonderful out there waiting just for you, Chantel. You unwashed pile of drug-addicted shit. The lying and the cheating and everything. Look, look at her acting. I sure don't miss the lying. And the cheating. And all the rest of that bad stuff. I sure don't miss that. I don't miss that. No. Not at all. Fucking bad actress. You don't miss that he won't even acknowledge the fact that he fucking completely lied to me. Someone better who actually loves you is waiting for you. I hope so. <laughs> and maybe part of me really believes he did love me. That's probably what... what you know what I mean? But then there's no way. There's no way that you love somebody and do that. But then I cheated on BB and I really loved him. Leave BB alone. I, I, I'm still of, of the opinion that they were never really a couple. Like once I put all my videos back up, because right now most of them are still down, because uh, there's still one strike on the channel. I think I'm going to wait till that comes off before I put everything back up. It's called BBT. And they had it sat down and had dinner. For the first time. And it was like half an hour of them eating at a table. And BB looks out of his mind miserable and angry for the whole thing. They have no chemistry together. It's like a big mistake they made that video. 
And I think that video shows like, you know, they, you know, Chantel lies all the time, right? It was just, uh, you know, something she wrote into her little, uh, into, into her little channel that they're together. I don't think they were ever really together. And she can keep returning to that all the time. It doesn't mean it's real. It's like she keeps saying that she got gonorrhea from Natter. That's just something spicy to put into the story. I don't believe it happened either. That's right. <laughs> Brittany. That's right. It's like we have like a whole routine that I miss, you know. Do I miss buying him outfits? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> or I did. Like going shopping with him, I guess. He didn't even love him. Go back and look. He annoyed you from day one. You lit up when Nicholas texted. But when he called or texted you, you looked burdened. Oh my goodness, Chantel is burdened. First world problems. Chantel got first world problems. She feels burdened by her imaginary boyfriend. Yeah. And now that I got it paused, Cheryl, thanks for coming by. Oh, you're on. Hello, my dear FBRC. Hello, chat. And Cheryl's saying hi. And Chavalita's saying hi. And they're both saying hi to each other. Look at this. This is fun. See, the internet is now working good. When I switched over to the, to the stronger connection, it acted up. And now it's working real good. And I can jump back and forth. Everybody's saying hi to each other. Hey, how are you going? Hey, hi there. Hello over there. Hi. Hey, hi. 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 <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You're right. She said she loves him but not in love with him. I still love my love love my narc after I left the asshole. I got your message, Cheryl. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some bird seed. I'm gonna get some bird seed. Steel matter back bees. No. Oh, can you imagine they're typing this? You know, because Chantel puts bees on everything, right? If she gets a watermelon, it's watermelon bees. If if it's coffee, it's coffee bees. Sometimes she just types into the title bees or bees. It's like, oh, win natter back bees. Wow, what a sad bunch she has following her. I'm going to play that again. Steal matter back bees. No. Wow, wow. <laughs> By the way, Cheryl, uh, this is from a three-hour, 21-minute long live stream from Chantel that she published yesterday entitled, Yes, I Still Love Him, talking about Natter. Three hours and 21 minutes. I took the first 10 minutes, the middle 10 minutes, and the last 10 minutes. So you're in here for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, bugs. Well, you can tell us about it here. Chantel's just sitting there high on drugs, staring at the screen, waiting for people to talk about Natter. You can tell us if you want to. Mm hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> Talking at me. No. You lost power, equipment problems. Apparently, it was brutal, hot, and miserable. No need to apologize. We're happy when folks show up here when they can. So, Weasel. The, the best thing that I did for this one is the thumbnail. Like, she was cleaning stuff. Like, this was three hours and 21 minutes, right? And so when I was running it back and forth to get the first 10, the middle 10, and the last 10, I saw her bent over, moving some stuff around, and she looked just like that poo emoji, a big pile of it. So the thumbnail is the funniest thing I did for this one. And I just used two poo emojis and said pile. Sad. Other side of the mirror. Welcome to Rampart Beezers. Here's the piece. Hi, Mir. What a lot! What a lot of energy she put in that. Somebody just signed up for five dollars a month. That's all you get.
Women on average get into eight DV altercations before they leave. Chantal left before that. Give her credit. I do feel like I don't deserve credit because I still have feelings for him. Look at Chantal. Look at Chantal. Look at her. Look at her bad acting. Look at her. Look at her. She she just said, I still got feelings for him. Look at the fucking face she puts on after she says that. I still got feelings for him. Oh, you're such a bad actor. Oh, you're such I'm gonna play that again. Where she's I still have feelings for him. Then she puts that face on. What a bad actor. I do feel like I don't deserve credit because I still have feelings for him. There. <laughs> I still have feelings for him. Oh, what a bad actor. What a bad actor. What a bad performance. Am I saying it too, night, too much tonight, early this morning? Am I just overdoing it? What a lying piece of shit. What a pathetic piece of shit. Cheryl's up and running again. And there's Old School Bert, also known as Angry Filipino Series, providing lots of pig emojis. And he's providing them quickly. It just matches the way Chantel looks right now. Thank you, Old School Bert, also known as Angry Filipino Series, for coming by. We totally dig your name, your cool avatar. I know you change it to something else, and then, you know, you put old school Bert back in there, which I really love. And, you know, with a little bit more, you know, persuasion, we could just turn this into the old school Bert appreciation channel. You know, it could happen. We love it that much. I always seem relieved to be home because I was, like, I, rem I remember, like... Being... Let me put that back on her face when she did that. Right there. There it is. We're having fun now. Everyone feels sorry for me right now. I'm acting. Look. I still have feelings for Natter. Which is, I'm going to pretend to be hating him. And I just can't get him out of my stupid life. So come along with me as I keep gaslighting and taking your money. I always seem relieved to be home because I was like, I rem I remember like being completely fucked up. Oh, Chantel, you were completely fucked up. Oh, wow. You're so raw. I love it. I love my, I love my own community here. I love this. Vile, pathetic, vile, pathetic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You still have feelings for him? By the way, I just took myself out of the picture because the acting performance from Chantel is so terrible. I want you to let you have it full frame. I still got feelings for him. <laughs> if I have a cold heart, I stopped feeling sorry for her the second day I found her. LOL. <laughs> yeah, we, we all feel the same around here. We all feel the same. Calling you. Uh, Chantel is a vile, evil creature, subhuman piece of crap. And, uh, my little story, but I hope you drive into a tree, have an argument, and then the tree wins the argument. That's my polite way of saying what I really want to say. Putrid. Thank you. Angry Filipino Series, also known as Old School Bird. Putrid. Putrid. Thank you for bringing that in. What when you lied about being with him when you were stopping at the Starbucks near his house <laughs> instead of the one in Orleans? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <wanted. laughs> I never wanted to. Hey, look, that, that's a good pose. That's a good pose right there. Poor, deep, complicated, disturbed Chantel. <laughs> Poor, deep, complicated, disturbed Chantel. <laughs> An horrible actress. Yeah, this is the most vile creature in all of Canada. <laughs> oh, look. And Cheryl's digging what you said there. But <laughs> back and forth. Do 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 
Late to the party? You really are late to the party. Doesn't matter. It's a party now that you're here. We still have most of the third part to play. <laughs> it's just we're going to have our faith renewed. She almost ran into a tree. <laughs> If it happens, we were lobbying for it here. Look at the trash. <laughs> you know, it's always fun when Michael Furberger comes by. It's sometimes, sometimes we do really funny even without Michael Furberger, even though, you know, it's nice when he comes by. Look at those trash emojis from old school Bert. <laughs> Thank you for your excellent emoji sk skills there, old school Bert. Fast on the draw and good choices. Thank you. No, there, there's Chantel. Poor, deep, complicated, disturbed Chantel. Let's get the let's get the footage going again. I tell you guys, obviously, because I knew you guys would fucking not want to support me and hate me, and I just, I, I guess I was always like, I. Wow, you find something you like there? Did you see what she just did? And she's saying she's gonna have all these guys. Um, could you imagine if somebody made the mistake of believing her filtered photos? And and didn't didn't know what the hell was going on. Talks to her for five minutes, and she does that. Uh, no, there's no guys. <laughs> I never wanted to do anything to upset you guys. I just wanted to just be back with him, you know. Okay, I missed that. Did she almost really run run into a tree? Like I, the most re she okay. Let me let me go over to check her channel. Hang on. Okay, what's she been doing? Okay, it it was coffee bees, which I think I went through. Then it was men are embarrassed to be seen with me. McCrispy for two hours and one minute. Yes, I still love him, which we're, we're reacting to 30 minutes from it. Three hours and 21 minutes. And the most recent one was streamed an hour ago, titled Let's Bees of two hours and seven minutes. So somewhere in there, she was driving and almost hit a tree or at least came in that area. Yeah, it's that. Uh, that's what Chantel does. I didn't even know she's gonna do that, or else I would have been ready for it. Ugh. I can't with the vibrator box. Oh, what the hell? You're right. She's putting it. In, okay, we gotta review that. She goes into her ear, and then she's into her mouth. You know. I can't with the vibrator box. Okay, I gotta pull it back a little bit more. Here we go. This house. Instead of the one in Orleans. <laughs> no, I want <laughs> I never wanted to tell you guys. All oh, okay, by the way, she just doxxed herself again. Remember when I said I didn't want to say what suburb she's in? She just mentioned it. So now we could say it. she's in Orleans, Ontario. Okay. It's a suburb of Ottawa, Ottawa. So it's very close to Ottawa. She's got Ottawa to share with us. She doesn't give us anything. She couldn't give anything as for Toronto. She went. And now she's talking about going to Montreal and, and there's going to be so much you're going to share with. She doesn't share anything from the Ottawa area. But when you lied about being with him when you were stopping at the Starbucks near his house <laughs> instead of the one in Orleans. <laughs> no, I <I'm> wouldn't. <laughs> okay, because like I was running around doing a bunch of stuff and I, f I fed the birds uh, Timbits, which I got to stop doing. <laughs> I got to find them some bird food from Walmart. And, and now three of you have told me that she came close to running into a tree, just like I've always been wishing. That's wonderful. I never wanted to tell you guys, obviously, because I knew you guys would fucking not want to support me and hate me. And I just... Oh, shit. I I, I guess I was wait always minute, like... Wait, I, that's a good comment. It's, it's in the J. Uh, it's a pathetic attempt to act, which I think is the correct. This is all... Yes, thank you. It's all a dumb act. It's gone on for too long. I'm going to have to put myself back. It's gone on for too long. It's nothing except for an act. Uh, it's even more pathetic for it to think of it Nader doo doo and doo doo. Now, I, I, I really dug your comment. I dig it. It just it was up there right where she's going to do this thing. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to, now I'm going to run it all the way through. She's picking at her ear and she puts it in her mouth. Fucking not want to support me and hate me. And I just, oh, I, oh, I guess oh. I was always like, I, I, Never want Ugh, to no, no. do anything to upset you guys. I just wanted to just be back with him, you know. 
I can't with the vibrator box. Ugh, gross. Ugh. Like she's being all casual and shit. Ew. God dang. Ew. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, damn it. Brittany. Oh, you're doing a stream? Ugh. It's the chase. Wanting what we can't have makes us want it even more. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, that's disgusting. So I told you, you see, because our actual dream has almost come true. And as long as she gets back on the road, it can happen again. We already hate her. <laughs> Safaria. Thank you for coming by. We already hate her. <laughs> Old school Bert is providing again the face uh the the face palm. That's an impressive amount of barf emojis. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Thank you, Angry Filipino, also known as Old School Bert. Exactly. Adults know that if somebody's online always talking about it, they ain't getting nothing. They ain't getting anything, rather. They ain't getting anything. They ain't there. See, adults know. Adults know. She's always talking about it. She ain't getting it. Facts. Still having these feelings all these months later. Yeah, it is normal. Desert Highway. Unfortunately. A lot of women I talk to still have... Oh, my God. What tasty delight. She said, oh, no. I didn't know this was going to happen either. I didn't watch any of this. Feelings years later. Old school Bert. Look at that. He's he's brought us. He's brought us the eggplant. See, we, we, we're having a bunch of fun here anyway. Even though we're in the last third, that's still awesome. Thank you, old school Bert. Excellent placement of the eggplant. She get no eggplant. And thank you, Cheryl. Galleron. Very much, Cheryl. Super Chat Cat is on his way. And Super Chat Cat is going to take the bigger stage. We put Chantel to the side. And because Cheryl demands it, bird food. Bird food is coming next. I am not going to encounter another seagull without having a bag of bird food to go. Ready to go. Thank you very much. Super Chat Cat is on his way. Look at that. He's in focus. Whoa, he's really close that he's in focus. Okay, hit it, Super. Hit it, Super Chat Cat. Super Jack Kate! Super Jack Kate! Thanks for blessing us, Cheryl Galarian! We hope to bless you, man! It's Super Jack Kate! It's Super Jack Kate! Super Jack Kate! Well, thanks for coming by, Cheryl! And, uh, you know, um, you know, we're in the bottom third of this show. It doesn't matter. And you said get some bird food? There's gonna be bird food out there. That's right. Well, the, the, the big fat dummy behind me just wanted to show that he was feeding animals. And he gave him the wrong stuff, which is Timbits, which is donut holes that you call them in the United States. Here we just call them Timbits, which is like little dough balls and sugar. So, uh, on your advisement and on your support, yes, there's going to be bird seed. That bat dummy behind me over there is going to have bird seed. Some kind of a big bag of something for birds. So thanks for that. And we're going to continue to, to support animals in our community because... Animals are better than most people, and that means they're better than, well, look, I'm a cat. Cats and dogs, we're better than Chantel. We're all better than Chantel. Everybody's better than Chantel. I think a butterfly is better than Chantel. I don't know why I said butterfly. Butterflies are really cute. Meow. Thanks very much, Cheryl. Meow. 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 Thanks. Meow. Meow. Thanks. Thanks. Meow. Thanks. Thank you, Super Chat Cat. Thank you, Cheryl Gallerin. Now I'm going to leave that up there for a while as we return to the footage of Chantel. With his behavior, yeah. 
Safadia says of Chantel, she's got cobwebs down there. Cheryl says, you're very welcome. Thanks very much. It just says a very welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks. Only eggplant you get is fake in their delusional mind. You know what? You see there's an eggplant? You see the eggplant off to the left of the screen? You see what she's got in the box there? She says she's going to review it on her OnlyFans. Look, that's a plastic, just like you said, that, that's a plastic eggplant. Cheryl, you, you, Cheryl, you'll ex excuse me. I'll just, for just five seconds, I take it. See? There, there's a plastic eggplant off, off to the left of the screen. Now we put this right back up. There. Cheryl's digging the super chat cat. Thank you very much. And then this. Uh oh. Somebody's in here telling me off. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sending that at me? Or are you sending that to Chantel? You've got one comment left. One. Is that for is that is that put down for me or for Chantel? You got one comment left, and I'm putting this back. All right. Cindy J says, Safadia, you're absolutely correct. Any adult woman who has to brag about her sex life publicly clearly doesn't have one. She will have any man who would take her. And I'll add to that, who would take her, who ain't taking her. It's impossible. Safadi so says, send a clip of foodie to a male friend of her bragging about how men want her. She said he'd chop off, chop his off if he had to use it on that. See? Safari, so that's a great comment. I would always say that, you know, there's no way if it's a guy and if it's a straight guy and he, he's supposed to be interested in Chantel, it's impossible. He can't sustain excitement confronted with that wildebeest. There's no way. It just, it just, no, it just don't work. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Sometimes Super Chat Cat squawks about me. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm being put down by uh, my time to shine. So this is what a Beezer sounds like. <laughs> what do you got for me? Hey, you suck. Oh, was that for me or for Chantel? Oh, it's for you. Oh, okay. Well, how about you here, my time to shine, how about you go back to the Beezer hug box, okay? And and, and you could you could say, oh, that natter, uh, you're gonna win them back, Chantel. You just gotta fight your way through DD. Yeah, that's 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 right. That's you gotta do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. You see, I just have to click off to one other comment, and then I go here. Gone. My time to shine was blocked. Well, you just have to shine somewhere else. My time to shine, you fucking idiot. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Bye. Back to the hug box. Back to the hug box. Bye-bye. And I put this back. Where was I? <laughs> I shouldn't tell. Get that gooey goodness. <laughs> There's no man that's going to claim her. No man is going to claim her. None. It's very nice of you to do and to say. And because it's your comment, it's like I'm running your super chat again. Well, we, we straighten that. We straighten that out. We straighten that out. <laughs> Not even Pete wants to claim her. That's good. <laughs> Not as not as either gender. I gotta get another bubbly going. Excuse me for a moment. I gotta get another bubbly. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Oh. And I'm still doing the weigh-in after we're done with this stuff. I'm still doing the weigh-in. And like Chantel said she was doing a weight loss journey and she drinks bubbly and she's drinking a full sugar Coke here and she's got a full sugar Pepsi standing behind her. So it doesn't matter. 
This is I haven't had real soda pop for months and months. <laughs> no. I give a Beezer a chance. It's like, what do you got to bring, Beezer? And they never bring anything. They just show how stupid they are. <laughs> and she was lost. <laughs> yeah, that could be. She's been known to do that. Excellent comments, Cindy J. Why be that way? We're here to have some fun. I'm glad you got sent back to the hug box prison. Chavalita's is back. Thanks for coming back. And by the way, uh, when I was stomping that troll, it got in the way of me leaving this up. Let's get back to the footage. Holy shit, say something, Chantel. From the kindness of his heart. I don't know, crisscross. Not my, I don't know. I don't, I can't even hear what she's Vicky saying. Swords. Member for eight months. Love you, Queen Beezer. Let's be happy and leave the drama behind. Yes, thanks, Vicky. Love you too. I love it. Somebody just said in her in her chat, let's just you know, leave the, the, the drama behind. What the hell? You got nothing to bring, Chantel. Jordan says, we got your back, FBRC. Grrr. Super Chat Cat is, is, is sitting there off to the side, showing his claws. Safaria pisses me off that Chantel thinks your life is so hard. Doesn't try to improve. Hell, I caught a bus for the first time after the fact. Haven't been able to do to it being a PTSD trigger, and I did it. Yep. There's somebody who's got real, you know, that's right, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and all kinds of things. And uh, that's, uh, that's a hell of a thing to wrestle with. And you walk through it. That's, you know, Ch oh, Chantel just pisses me off, too. It's like talking about she's got depression. No damn way. Well, it, it, whatever suits her, right? She talks about asthma a lot, diabetes a lot, fatty liver disease. And then she sets them aside, and then she get, picks up something else. It's just, it's so despicable. Ongoing fakery of illnesses she doesn't have. Uh, this dramatic fight that isn't real. Yeah, but just some Beezer jabroni. There's that charming story again. You leave for five minutes, your dad made you a hot tea, and you missed the troll in the chat. That's right. And I bet it's a normal tea with milk and sugar and real tea leaves and not that herbal tea stuff. It was a fear, and I faced it says Safadia, so I could improve my lifestyle. She sits and whines about how unfair life is for her. Yeah, Chantel's got like a horrible attitude and $12,000 rolling in just for sitting there and getting high and doing what she's doing now. Just talking about a, a fake fight with Natter and Didi. Pisses off Cheryl. Chevalita, welcome back. Yes, FBRC took care of the troll and sent it back under the bridge where it belongs. Thank you, Cindy J. Thank you for the video series. Okay, thank you. Great work, Safadia. Cindy J, nice. You're a brave woman, Safadia. She couldn't possibly do anything of value. You did, love. You did. You see, it's funny, you know, like, uh, like I, I, I make a joke and I say uh, support group leader, right? You know, that's what Yaba used to call herself, the support group leader. And like, 
how can you have a real support group when you're supporting the wildebeest and you let her get away with making fun of kids getting slaughtered? You let her make get her. By the way, I had a minute of silence for September 11th at the start. I just turned the camera off at one minute of silence. I noted it and I respected it that this is September 11th. Watch that fake eggplant blow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, when women are going to give hell to, well, I don't like to call Chantel a woman. It's a wildebeest. Yet for the sake of argument, let's just say when women are giving hell to another woman, it really is funny, entertaining stuff. <laughs> Look at ah! Watch that fake eggplant blow up when she tries to use it. It will commit electrical suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Damn, that's good. I love that. <laughs> Angry Filipino series. She'll be bend bound like Amberlynn Reed. And Safadi's going to plan to catch the bus tomorrow on her own without her husband this time. Good work again. Neither one of us understands it, Cheryl. That's right. And it's almost the anniversary there. I'm just letting all you American folks know at the top of this program, I had a moment of silence for it. Do you, do you think you're going to get that out of Nader? Oh, and Nader's the one, you know, the, the Chantel and him have, uh, you know, their little conversations calling the United States a stupid country. <laughs> uh, without the United States and without YouTube's opportunity that they get to have, you know, Chantel and Natter wouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah, her look, look, this is good. We're getting some good comments with Chantel is frozen like that. Yeah, her struggle is real. 20000 a month. All the men she can have. Brain dead beezers that throw money at her for being worthless. Yeah, however, she will go on. <laughs> I'm an Aussie chick. We say it straight. One of my favorite movies is the first Crocodile Dundee. Is it Paul Hogan, right? He said he knew that when he wrote the script, he says he knew it was going to be huge. It's a feel-good movie. What can I say? That's an awesome movie. You always feel great when you, you give it another watch, too. You can do it, Safaria. Good stuff. Good story. <laughs> Way to go. It's all about taking one step at a time, pushing ahead. You got this? You got this, Safadia. Jordan's from Australia, too. We're not pissing you off, Safaria. We're glad you're on our side. No. No, I didn't mean to say no on that. Uh, no, you haven't shared that before. Cheryl, you lost a friend that day. He worked in Tower One. No, I didn't hear that from you before. And that's why I wanted to note at the start of the program, I, I just said we have to respect it. So I just pulled the camera off and uh, we had a moment of silence. Like we're so much in the same page. Myself, I didn't know anybody in there. Yet, you know, you, you're always traveling and you've got like a busy you sort of do yeah you do have a cosmopolitan life you're all over the place and um you know a lot more people than the average person and you lost a friend that day and like when Chantel made fun of it for the third time i made a video calling her out on it my video got demonetized and age restricted and her making fun of it is still up to this day on her beezer incorporated channel it's called Something Pondu. Let me get the title of it. I'm not trying to bring respect to it. I'm just trying to share my anger with you that Chantel gets to make fun of those things. And there's nothing funny about it. Uh, let's see. Beezer. The Beezer Show. Chantel hasn't posted to the Beezer Show for more than three months. 
Uh, where is that video? She's got the, the wig on. There it is. It's called Office Pizza with Carmen Pondieu. 17,000 views, streamed five months ago. It's got her with the blonde wig on, and she's put a green screen behind her, and she's sitting next to a high-rise towers. And that's where she said, oh, that's what, well, how I remember when I got my hair done. Uh, it was on that day. Oh, unbelievable. And it's monetized. Let me get back to the stream yard. I had to go in there to find that for you guys. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Sorry to hear that, says Jordan. Yep. No Aussie stinks if you want that buffalo. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. Yeah. You know what? You know, when people say, um, you know, get over it, move on and heal, like, let's say you scrape your arm or you break a finger. You get over things like that. You heal, move on. Losing a, a loved one like that, do you ever really get over it? I don't think so. Thanks very much. You're remembering a, a dear friend that had a sense of humor. It reminds, reminds me a little bit of, of myself and my sense of humor. That's a really nice compliment. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Part of why you mentioned it. You can mention anything you like. Condolences, Cheryl, coming from CCP. Yeah, that 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 yeah, that, that that's what I was meaning to say earlier. It's like, how do you have like um let me just jump away for a second. You know, when I call myself a support group leader, ha, ha, ha. Uh, that was my point. I, I sort of lost my train of thought that to have, like, you know, Yaba can't be called a support group because why would you want to support a wildebeest that makes fun of 9-11, that makes fun of kids getting shot up, that lures minors into a dirty talk and live stream? How do you support that? The only thing you can say is, as I say, please, YouTube, take a second look, especially on this day. Take a, take a second look at, at the Pondu Beezer video that she made, making fun of that tragedy. Take a second look and get rid of Chantel. Get her off this platform for good. Thanks. So how can you have a support group without saying that and just saying, you know, there's nothing good here. There's nothing funny left. It's just all evil and lies and get rid of it. Let this thing go to OnlyFans and Patreon where it belongs. You know, it, it, it's like they say, but who's, who's, who's the greatest rock and roll band in the world? Most people say the Rolling Stones. And, you know, and that's probably true. It's just on any given Sunday, anybody can be the best rock group in the, in the world. And on any given moment, when anybody has an excellent comment, they become the support group leader. So around here, you can say a lot more than you can say in those other uh, fake reaction channels. And at any moment, any one of you is having an excellent comment, that becomes the leader. That becomes red one. At the head of the uh, pack. Exactly. Let me get a little bit more of the will to beast here. So, so you notice how we're all just sitting around here talking, and, and she, even though Chantel's sitting there, it's like it's like Chantel disappeared because she's really nothing. <laughs> what is kick? What happened to the three X men's gap sweatshirt? <laughs> it was an XXL. <laughs> I will 
always have feelings towards my abuser, but it is nothing but pure rage and hate. You're lucky, Holly. Because I guess maybe it's, I don't know. Look at that terrible acting. She's sitting there shaking her head. I don't know. I don't know. Damn, 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 damn. That's some bad acting, Chantel. That's terrible acting. You're if just. I never stop loving him. I still have to do what's right for myself. Exactly. That's why I'm here. <sighs> oh, whoa. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was going to do that. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Damn, that's bad acting. Damn. And we had a Beezer in here, you know, about 20 minutes ago. It's like, you suck. Um. Okay. Do you have anything else to add? No, that's for you. <sighs> I believe this stuff. I'm a beezer. I don't know. It's a broken arm wave today. Check this lovely comment out. The only useful thing the creature does is bring together a very cool, awesome, caring group of people from around the world to support each other in creating some happy times together. Cindy J. That was so sweet. I got to get somebody to come over here and say a quick thanks. A quick thanks. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Llama, love, Cindy, thanks. Mwah. Thank you, Llama, love. See, around here, we, we really dig, you know, animals and birds and squirrels, cats and dogs. We dig it all. Even if my camera's not working right because Lamb and Love was here. Come on, camera. There. What a sweet comment. Thank you very much, Cindy J. Look at that room, and all she wants to do is make her beezers feel sorry for her. If you want to feel good, clean that dang room. Yeah, I love this. She acts and talks like there's so much going on in her head when in reality there is a monkey with symbols. <laughs> she acts and talks like there's so much going on in her head when in reality there's just a monkey with symbols. I'm sorry, she just makes me sick and I couldn't do this without this community. That's right, that's right. I couldn't watch it anymore without you guys being around here. It's like, you know, that's why I started this channel more than two years ago. The summer of this year, it had its two-year anniversary. I just look at her. The first reaction I did, she showed up with, with a, a dirty top, greasy hair, and she looked at the camera and she said, I'm not doing any more unhealthy mukbangs. I understand if that's disappointing. That's the way it is. That's what I'm doing. I said, get out of here. I, you're lying. And of course, she's done a million unhealthy mukbangs since, even though they're not mukbangs. Mukbangs is you lay out everything, you show everything. To, you know, she's just like, <laughs> and I knew she was lying. I knew she was lying. And so now when I go through the footage to react, like if I didn't have this channel and you guys, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And Chantel is an object lesson for us that life, unfortunately, isn't fair. And what to avoid when we encounter things such as Chantel in our own lives and interactions. And as a reminder to just cut them off, like you could 
human beings, two or three chances, four chances. When you encounter something like Chantel, just that's it. Forget it. No, nope. most squirrels and dogs and cats and birds are all better than you. That's why you're not even an animal, Chantel. You're a creature. <laughs> oh, you can go live and make money? Really? She's not even holding her head up. Hi, love. Oh, my God. I just about dropped to the floor. I was like, what the hell? My narc just got divorced again and messaged me. Oh, my God. And that's hard, Sherry. Did you think about getting back with him? It will get easier. Yeah, of all people. Sorry, creatures pretending to be people. <laughs> Aren't I clever? Don't worry, dear. It gets better. Yeah, coming from Chantel. Fuck off, Chantel. <laughs> like, not everyone's the same. Some of you are very strong. Some of you are... I don't think people who don't go back are not strong. It's just it's so... It's just different for everybody. You know, like... at the end. Of and the for you, it's all just fake. You do it all on camera. You scream hate at this guy. He screams hate at you. Both of your channels qualify as hate and bullying channels, and very strange, neither one of you reports the other, ever. The day I don't think anyone was really really understands, but check out my thumbnail for this one after we're done. She was bending over, getting some stuff, and she looks like the poo emoji. So I just said pile of poo with the thumbnail. Yeah, Ava. Look at that. Cindy J is digging my comments, and I'm digging Cindy J's comments. And we're all digging each other's comments together. Damn, FBRT, that's pretty profound and so on point. Chantel's an object lesson in life, and watching this creature squander the blessings she receives and is so ungrateful makes me grateful. Yes. I'm grateful. We're a nice bunch of people. And I'm putting a little voice on because it allows me to talk about those sensitive things while still looking very macho. <laughs> Safaria. She won't fuck off because she can't get fucked. <laughs> and that's so funny because what's on the table next to her? <laughs> that electric eggplant. <laughs> And even that piece of plastic is saying, no, no, don't believe her. I have nothing to do with this thing. <laughs> oh, shucks. Oh, dang. LOL, you're always macho, FBRC. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that comment. She only gets fake plastic. I wish she would have bought in that big doll like she said she was going to. Because see, back then, she was sitting at the, at, the, at the kitchen island a lot, talking, and Pete's would be there. I was like, well, holy cow, just get rid of, you know. You know, my wish is for Chantel to either drive into a tree or get kicked off the platform. I don't love to hate her. I would much more love to see her off the platform. <laughs> and, um, and Pete's, I can't stand either. I, I can't stand him. And uh, if she was sitting there next to a big rubber doll, that would have been better than Pete's. I would have said, okay, at least that's halfway funny. And when she mentioned getting that giant rubber doll, she said, I'm not clickbaiting. Yeah, you were. You were clickbaiting, Chantel. You know, it'd be too much work for her to set the thing up. It would say, some assembly required. She, but now what do I do? <laughs> oh, shucks. I'm making myself laugh. Aren't I clever sometimes? Thank you. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go back live later downstairs. Really? Kind of wow. Okay. Oh, Frig. Stop picking at your... Oh, yeah. yeah. Ugh. It was very disturbing. Yeah. No way. Come find you, really? Ah! <laughs> 
Well, as was mentioned earlier, we're expecting it to commit electrical suicide and just, you know, explode. <laughs> Look at it. This is almost like having Michael Furberger here. Michael Furberger shows up with one li one liners and lots of them. Maybe she did order like, in the company saw her and said, sorry, our doll has a weight limit. <laughs> Sorry, our dolls can only handle 500 pounds. And, um, you know, you're just going to injure yourself. And you're going to break the doll. Here's your refund. Okay. We saw your videos and, you know, we're canceling your order. We sent back your money. And we have more respect for our dolls than to send them out to you. <laughs> Here's your refund. Well, because I have hair loss, which I know is alopecia. So that's why I'm just saying. that That's why she's going to sign off. She says, okay, guys, I'm going to go. I'll come back later. She found something good, and she wants to get to it. That's what that's what motivating her to get off, off the show. Maybe I have alopecia. He did burn your face, didn't he? I know he burned you. Not my face. Address the bomb. The rubble bag downstairs. <laughs> what rubble bag? <laughs> I thought she did. I thought the story was she found a Cheeto in her fat folds and ate it. Or now, now it's sort of changed. Like there was one in her bra. She opened it up and the Cheeto flew out of her top at some guy. One way or the other, she's got, you know, snack food hand hanging around in the folds of blubber. Okay, I'm going to be back after we're going to be hard, okay? She was like this for like three hours and 21 minutes. You know, half comatose, high, and nothing nothing happening. Oh, I said I have it? No, I didn't. Oh, well, maybe I do have alopecia. Does some part of you enjoy him mistreating you? No. But I don't know. I feel like I can take it and I just I mean, I don't like it. Every time we would fight, I would say something. But him he's like doesn't understand, even though what he does is not good, he doesn't understand how if I love him I could out him like that. He thinks all of these private domestic problems should be kept private. Oh, Chantel, you're going to expose them. Oh, how exciting. You've only been doing that for the better part of a year and a half. So... <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Yes. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to be back after. Okay, Chantel, you're done. Yes. Thanks, Chantel. Thank no, I'm you. not leaving the call. Okay. Thank you. No, get off. I'll be back, guys. That's it. No. Okay, I'll be back go. on a different... I'll be back downstairs. Yeah, that's amazing. Bye. Thanks. Where you go? There you go. Get off. Turn it off. That's it. Okay, thank you. Three hours and 21 minutes. Three hours and 21 minutes of that. And then she walks away thinking, okay, that's worth, that's worth probably 1500 bucks right there, and then tomorrow I do it again. And then in the middle of the month, I get $15,000. Put a fork in her. She's so done. Like I say, she rolls out of bed with nothing better to do. And that's it. Now, I got 34 wonderful people here. Let's get Chantel out of here. Remove. Get her off my studio. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a live weigh-in. And it's going to be a little bit messed up because I started so late today. I was so dang hungry. That I had my one meal today. Uh, I had it here. I was going to eat it on camera and everything. And I didn't. It was like a meat and cheese and tomato thing. 50% off. I had that. And I ate the Walmart sausages right out of the bag. Two of them. And uh, anyway, I still ended up losing weight. So I'm stuffed right now. Plus I've had three bubblies. And I'm still going to show you I've been losing weight. All right, so I'm gonna I'm taking the here the headphones out, 
and I've got two different scales. And the last time I did it, I was 316, right? Okay. No, don't mind the sound. It's going to be a little bit messed up. This is just me, a shirt, a pair of shorts. Oh, I had the shoes on too. Let me get the shoes. I'm still going to be less than 316. Now, it's not going to be as low as it should be because I just ate all that stuff and I just drank all that water. And eating all that stuff also included two cups of vegetables. I'm trying to get my dang shoes on. Shoe malfunction. <clears throat> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Jordan. Now, let me back up a little. Oh. So it's just me, shorts, shoes. No socks. <laughs> First it's the star frit. So it works. She's at zero. I gotta get the uh, fabulous camera ready. I'm gonna hit the star for it. Three twelve in the star for it. And the other one is just called AccuWeight. It's like a no-name brand. I don't know what the heck. Anyway, just to show you that it works. I'm pressing on it. Zero. Let me get the camera ready. We go. Let me try that one more time. Three thirteen four. So it's still less than it was last time.
I'll get to your comments. Let me put the headphones in. Hang on, hang on. Cindy J, way to go. Cindy J, LOL, at least you don't have the account for your earnings in Apple Watch like ALR does. <laughs> That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Javelita. Whoops. Congratulations. That's awesome. AL, thank you too. Right there. Chair, awesome job. CCP, great job. Lead to the party. Nice FBR. Lead to the party. C. I guess that means congratulations too. So uh, it actually should be better than that because. Like I said, sorry to repeat myself so much. I, I, I eat everything. This thing was full. This thing was full of meat and cheese and tomatoes. And there was two cups of California mix. And I ate two sausages right out of the Walmart bag. And each one of those are heavier than the Johnsonville. So it was like 500 calories of those two sausages alone. Verica Z, long time no see. How are you doing about the weight? Good for you. Way in the morning right now, you could probably take off three pounds from eating in fluids, so you're probably three pounds less even. Yeah, yeah. So what I, I plan to do is just like I'm, st I'm still trying to I, – I want to get back to this uh, very super cute bento box. It's just, you know, things are kind of messed up because having the channel getting – Having the channel getting attacked like that, sort of, hang on, there. Having a channel attacked by those false strikes sort of messed up the rhythms of it. So uh, I'm looking to get uh, get back to those rhythms and get the bento box in there and the calorie count and everything. It's just like if I do the calorie count and the bento box at the start and I can't do Chantel reactions, like I know it's... Like, I was losing subscribers because people get pissed off. It's like they want foodie beauty reactions. They show up. Just clock in for work. <laughs> Hug, you're up late. <laughs> so people show up looking for a foodie beauty reaction. Here's me eating and talking about calories. And then I got no Chantel footage to use. So I, I got out of the, you know, it, it just having the channel attack messed up the rhythms of it. Oh, I get it. That's cool. That's cool. So, I intended to. So, so like, oh, I'm babbling almost. Even though it got messed up because I ate everything before I did it, I still lost weight from last time I did it because last time was 316. So, what I'm saying is, when I do it, I'm going to plan to do it again on Wednesday. And I might even get around to getting one of those talking scales. It'd be hilarious if I could find the exact one that Chantel uses. Body weight is. You see, I'm still on the shit list, right? I mean, like the, the Natter song video that I did, which I still I, I can't play just yet. <laughs> so maybe i get a talking skill and then i could just stand on it because you guys trust me and then once a week i can do it with you know asking for a three-digit number i'll write it down on the scale and all that stuff just to prove it's super legit so and anyway i still continue to lose weight when I do it again on Wednesday, all legit. Um, it'll be better than that.
Okay. So let's just check in on Chantel quickly. Um, to see if the wildebeest is live. No, it's not. Nutter isn't doing anything. So Foodie Beauty is silent. As is Nutter. Okay, neither one of them doing anything. Uh, the thumbnail made for this one is, is good. Check it out later after we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good comment. I cannot believe Dee Dee and Natter with the slapping and supposed BDSM bullshit. I cannot believe my eyes and YouTube allowing that. Exactly, exactly. And I predicted, you know, people are saying, oh, and the Nutter's going down, Chantel's going down. I said, those channels aren't going down. Because the Nutter channel is really on Chantel's account. That's my feeling. She just changed, she went into her account, changed her own name, bloop, to Nutter, El Shami, changed her, and then she struck everything. Which is why one of the videos of mine that got hit was actually on Chantel's uh, channel, and Natter is claiming it. So it's just so screwed up. Shavalita saying good night, FBIC in chat. We'll get up there, Super Chat Cat, and maybe that's a good note for us to end on. Because the footage is all gone. I did the weigh in. Thanks very much, Shavalita. And we love it you come by, continue to give us updates on how you're doing. Super Chat Cat is on the way. Get up there, kitty. Get up there, kitty. Get up there. Get, get up there. Come on, center stage, kitty. Center stage. Yeah, we're both waiting for you to get in focus. Come on. Oh, how about over here? How about over here? Okay, hit it. Look, she's got to go. She got. She got to get some rest. She got some tea. Tea makes you sleepy. Depending on what type of tea. I don't mean drug tea. I mean like herbal tea. Well, just a hot cup of tea makes you kind of. Just get singing. Sing. Super JK! Super JK! Thanks for blessing us, Chevalier. We hope to bless you back. Super JK! Super JK! Super JK! Thanks very much, Chevalier. Wow, wow. I'm Look at me. I'm beckoning. I'm beckoning up a storm of good luck. The bless you and you and everything that you do, including your studying. And we thank you for including our silliness in with your serious studying. Because we all like, yeah, you know, most animals are better than, 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 well, you know what I mean. You know, there's a lot of animals that are better than people. And of course, good people like you and all of us around here are, are, are good too. I'm just saying thanks for supporting us. And I, and the, the fat dummy behind me will continue to feed animals. And you know, it's going to go to a, a, a getting treats. A, oh, Super chat. Yeah. She's gotta get some she gotta get some sleep, all right? Well thanks very much, Jeff Leader. Wow. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Super Chat Cat. And thank you, Chevalier. We'll leave that up there for a little bit. Look, folks are saying goodnight to Chevalier. Everybody's saying goodnight now. How do they get away with that type of content? You this channel gets suppressed. That's right, Cindy J. And all the false strikes they pull. That's right. You think they are getting hot water? Nothing happens to them. That's just the way of the world. Like I say, it's an object lesson. Uh, since I joined, I'm going to go back and watch your reaction. Thank you very much, Haley. <clears throat> Good night, Chavalita, says CCP. 
Chavalita, hey, good night, sweetheart. Chavalita says, CC, good night. Cindy, it was a great to chat with you, Chavalita. Have a great night. Late to the party. Night, Chavalita. Necessita, missed you, sweetie. Good night. Ver Verica Z. Seriously, I don't know how did enough people strike, if that's the question, or who did they love the drama. You see, I say, when you they, they want you gone, they know how to do it, as YouTube likes it. Late to the party. Good night. Pretty buddy, you're actually, child, you are shrinking. I'm really seeing the loss. You need a smaller shirt. Thank you for being on an encouragement. My golly, I don't get called encouragement too often. Thank you very much for that compliment. I guess I am shrinking. I just hope that swinging stuff tightens up a little bit. Well, that's what happens when you deflate a balloon. I guess that's part one of it. Oh, come on, tighten up on me. Come on. All right, stop talking around that stuff. I'm being me, myself. I'm just yelling at me. Super Chat Cat is looking at me doing this. I mean, wrap it up. I'm going back to this one. And I'm going to sing us out on this one. Because Chavalita is saying goodnight, FBRC, and chat. And it's time for you to do the Chantel song. And thank all of you for coming by. And thanks for your support. And I'm going to continue to feed animals live on camera. So you can witness it for yourself. It's not stock footage. It's going to be fresh live footage of me feeling, feeling, feeding, feeding the local critters. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. I got to stop talking about not talking and just start not talking. A little bit more bubbly. Let's do it. A one, a two, a three, a four, a chantel. She carries the weight of the world on the shoulders. Chantel. She carries the weight. Yeah. Chantel. She carries the weight of the world. On his shoulders, Chantil, Chantil, Chantil. She rolls out of bed with nothing better to do. She rolls right back to bed after the muck bang is through. She make a mess, she make a couple of dollars, she gonna do it again. It's all too much for you to understand. Come on, sing it again. Chantel, she carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. Chantel, oh, she carries the weight of it. Chantel, she carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. Chantel, 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 Chantel. Wow.